Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to part three of Java programming tutorials. In this session, we are going to solve a simple but very interesting problem to demonstrate some of the basic concepts of Java. Okay. The problem statement goes like this. A company in a campus conducts recruitment test in four components, quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning, verbal ability, and technical. In technical, they conduct a test in coding. The marks obtained are weighted average of marks obtained in different components. To find out final marks, 40% of marks obtained in quantitative aptitude and 30% of logical reasoning marks, 20% of verbal ability marks and 10% of coding marks. Uh, let us reverse it. 10% uh, of quantitative aptitude, 20% of logical reasoning, 30% of verbal ability and 40% of coding marks are considered to find out final marks. And if this final marks, obtained marks, is greater than or equal to cutoff, then select it. Otherwise, not selected. Let us take a case where cutoff is 45. Quantitative aptitude marks are, uh, are 50. Logical reasoning marks are 40. Verbal ability marks are 50. Coding marks are 75. Then marks obtained marks obtained is 10% uh, of 10% of quantitative aptitude that is 5 plus 20% of logical reasoning that is 8 plus 30% of verbal ability that is 15 40% of 40% of Coding that is 30. So total is 45, 58. Because 58 is greater than or equal to cutoff, the answer is selected. Okay. Let us take case two. I take same cutoff. A quantitative aptitude is 50, logical reasoning is 40, verbal ability is also 50, whereas coding is just 40. Now, what are the marks obtained? 10% of 50. 20% of 40, 30% of uh, verbal ability, 40% of 40% of coding. It is 16. What is total? 31, 31, 39, 44. So not selected. Is less than less than 45. Okay. This is clear. Now let us write a program in Java demonstrating some of the basic concepts to solve this problem. I take for simplicity an online compiler. Uh, let us take Scanner class in java.util package for taking inputs from user. Okay. 
Now let us create a class. We can call it as company. We'll decide whether students are selected or not. It has quantitative aptitude. It has logical reasoning. It has verbal ability and coding as parameters. It also has it also has cutoff. I take it as double, which is company specific, and I would like to make it private. I don't want to give access to this to the user. Okay, and then let us have a constructor. As you know, constructor will have same name as a rough class. Okay. Now, from the user, by creating a company, company object, I, I initialize the marks in quantitative aptitude, logical reasoning, logical reasoning, uh, verbal ability, and, and coding. Okay. Now, quantitative aptitude is equal to quantitative aptitude. Logical reasoning is equal to logical reasoning. Verbal ability is equal to verbal ability. Coding is equal to coding. Okay. Now, let us initialize cutoff also. Let it be 45. Okay, now, see here, QA is QA. Actually, this QA is object parameter and this QA is separated by user. To differentiate them, we can use this keyword. This tells that this is parameter of the instance. Okay. Okay, you can do it for cutoff also, or because you are not taking cutoff from outside, there is no need to differentiate. Next, this only differentiates between external parameter and object parameter. This stands for this object. Okay, default object. Oh, public, it tells whether selected or not by giving true or false answer, which is Boolean. Is selected the name of the function is selected yes now the logic if ten percent of quantity aptitude plus twenty percent of logical reasoning plus thirty percent of verbal ability plus 40% of coding. If it is greater than or equal to cut off, then a return, a return false, sorry, a return true. Otherwise return false. Okay. Hope you understand it. So this completes the class definition. Class name is uh, company. Spelling seems to be okay. Now <clears throat> here. Let us create object of scanner, scanner class to read the inputs.
taking inputs from system dot in. Now first, is quantity aptitude. Using next int method. Okay. Second is logical reasoning. Third is verbal ability. And fourth one is coding. This is logical reasoning, verbal ability, and coding. Okay. Let us create a company instance. Company. So company name is Don. Let us create a new object of company by name Don and pass. See the order of passing. First quantity aptitude, logical reasoning, verbal ability, coding. Quantity aptitude, logical reasoning, verbal ability, and coding. Okay. Right. Now, if the object's method, what is that? Is selected. If this returns true, then print that congratulations you are selected okay otherwise print Sorry, you are not selected. Okay, right? Inputs are given here in online compilers. We have to give all the four inputs at once. What are they? Case one 50, 40, 50, 75. 50, 40, 50, 75, 50, 40, 50, 75, let us execute it, okay, good, what is second case, 50, 40, 50, 40, second case is, fifty. 40, 50, 40, okay? Sorry, you are not selected. Is this clear? Here I explain how to write a class. Default access type is public, or you can mention, you can mention public here. But default, they are public, okay? This is clear. No, this is private. Try, try accessing cutoff. Now try to change cutoff. From the object. So try to change cutoff. You cannot do that. Okay. When can you do that? If it is, if it is public. Okay. Now what is cut off? 40. In the second case, how many marks you got? 44. Now, because you changed cut off, you are selected now. Okay. So for that reason, to avoid you, to avoid you. 
to up, to change it it is made it is made private okay now you can see that you are not with these kind of marks you are not selected this is clear this is data hiding or you can say encapsulation constructor boolean method okay reading inputs in online compiler we we supply all of them at once in std in inputs box we can give even command line arguments also okay um okay let us do one thing um say command line argument is db row okay here we can say arcs zero okay so name is supplied through command prompt to check the output uh, i should put plus here this is argument supplied through command line okay so tv row sorry you are not selected is this clear is this clear i hope you understand it this is demonstrating command line argument also okay only one argument and that is stored in arcs array and the first element of arcs array not zero element of arcs array okay that's it so hope you understand it if i make it if i make it 70 then tv row is selected okay so hope you understand it subscribe to my channel to get automatic updates and like if you like it write in comment section if you have any comments okay thank you thanks for watching